This help video is intended to help you carry out routine maintenance on your chain. The first thing we always need to do is check the chain slack. We find do this at the very middle of the chain, measuring the deflection when we press down on the chain. And then again, we will press up on the chain and we measure the total deflection. In this case, the total deflection is about 35 millimeters, which is far too much. However, I need to find the tightest part of the chain, so I'll keep on rotating the chain and measuring until I'm happy that I've found the tightest part of the chain. Once I've done that, I'm going to start slackening things off because I know I need to adjust. If it's within 30 millimeters, I don't need to. First thing I do, undo the torque arm nut here. I don't need to take it all the way off, just slacken it off. Slacken off the axle nut. Normally you'll have to put a 19 mil on one side and 17 on the other side, but turn the nut side. That's the right hand side. You're just going to slacken this off enough. You don't have to take it off again. You're going to slack it off until the spacer can be moved with your fingers. This is the spacer here. Then we slacken off the lock nuts on the adjuster mechanism itself. We have to hold the adjusting bolt with one spanner while slacking it off anti-clockwise. And then turn it out a few turns just so it's out of your way. You're going to need to do that on both sides. We're now going to tighten the adjuster bolts equally on each side, which draws the rear wheel back and tightens the chain. In this case, I'm turning the bolt on each side three flats, three flats being half of a full turn. I'm going to do that equally on both sides. That's really important. Three flats is actually quite a lot for the YBR. It means I've let my chain go very slack. Now I'm going to recheck that chain slack to make sure it's within that 20 to 30 millimeter deflection. And in this case, I've got it to just over 20, so I'm happy with that. Mustn't be under 20. I'm going to check the alignment marks on each side of the adjuster now to make sure that the axle is lined up with the same one on each side. That tells me my wheel is straight. Now I'll tighten the axle nut down to 80 newton meters using a torque wrench. I'll also need to hold the other side of the bolt with the spanner. Now I'm just going to pull the torque wrench till the needle pull points all the way at 80 and that's me happily tightened up to 80 newton meters. Once the bolt's tightened down I still need to recheck chain slack as this can often tighten it up a little bit and I'll have to adjust it if there's a problem. Again, I'm going to try it in several different places just to make sure it hasn't gone any tighter than I want it to. And I can start putting the bike back together now. First thing I'll do, I'll tighten the lock nuts. While I'm doing that, I will still hold the, the adjuster bolt so it doesn't move. So just tighten them down nicely on each side not forgetting there are two sides. The last job I need to do with tools is sorting out the rear brakes. First I'm going to re-tighten that torque arm nut. Check that the cotter pin is still in place. Then I'm going to check the free play on the brake pedal, which should be 20 to 30 millimeters at the pedal itself. Here I'm measuring only 15 because tightening up the chain drew the wheel back and therefore tightened the brakes. So I need to slacken off this adjuster nut on the left. I'm just going to slacken it counterclockwise twice. And now I have 21 millimeters of free play, which is just fine. Finally, I lubricate the chain on both sides using the back of the sprocket and then again underneath the chain. 
Any grease that gets onto the wheel, I definitely need to wipe off. This not only lubricates the chain, but it helps to stop it getting rusty. You need to also use a chain cleaner every now and then during the winter. Looking after your own chain is reasonably simple, but it's also vital. Especially when you're riding on wet and gritted roads. A slack chain not only causes damage to the gearbox, but it also makes the bike a bit of a dog to ride. And it's a good place to start taking care of your own motorcycle. Good luck and ride safe.